What's up automation enthusiasts? Super stoked to have all you guys here today. We are QTP Tutorial at qtptutorial.net. Go check us out. We teach the best automated testing practices with UFT, Unified Functional Tester, formerly known as QTP. We have been working so hard and learning so much in our journey on getting started with UFT. Since that is one of the most popular and demanded topics, we have created an entire video tutorial that will get you from the start to creating an automated test with UFT and you will learn everything in between. We touch on everything that is important in detail and then we slightly mention everything else that you don't need to waste your time on because UFT is a big tool and you don't need to waste your time on things that you will never use. We try to follow what's called Pareto's principle here in that 20% of your effort will produce 80% of the results and that's pretty much how it works with UFT. You learn VBScript, you learn some of the important functions of UFT and the rest is piece of cake. You'll be at the top of your game. So that's what we strive to teach you guys here. Anyways, just wanted to do a quick recap of everything that we've covered in the previous videos and let you know what we have coming up. And then we will move forward with finalizing this tutorial. So when we started with how to use UFT, we've covered so many topics. We talked about the start page of UFT, the file menu and the debug panes. We talked about how to create a solution, how to start a recording and how to play back that recording. Then we continued with teaching you guys the object repository along with some quick descriptive programming. Then we told you about some disadvantages of the object repository. After that, we discussed all of the pains in UFT. We talked about things such as environmental variables, and we talked about how to change all of the different types of settings in UFT. We probably covered much more that I don't have listed here, but that's for you to go and check out the tutorials to see everything that you can learn to become that amazing automation engineer. And now, we have come upon our final learning tombstone. And that is, we're gonna learn how to create a smoke test. And we're gonna do that step by step. I'll take you guys through the whole process. And by the end of these videos, you guys will know how to use UFT to create your own automated tests. So again, thanks for joining us, so excited. Let's go ahead and get started. 